kidding. Some of a good natured, and I don't know what the rest would be. About all the uh, guitars that I play, I think I've already played 10 or 11 guitars here tonight. Um, people, uh, you know, they make fun, they say something like, John, you must have a great big guitar collection. And I tell them, buddy, it pales in comparison to my wife's shoe collection. <laughs> <laughs> Ponder, if you will, the fine lines here. <laughs> o M G! <laughs> I can't believe it. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you know, it's all in good fun, honey. Go ahead, get another thousand pairs of shoes. What else would I do on Saturday, right? Anyway, by way of uh, justifying the guilt and, excuse me, justifying having all of these guitars, um, I thought I'd show you a little bit how they're different and, you know, how they inspire different kinds of songs. This one is a uh, Fender Telecaster. <laughs> these kind of guitars because they're, you know, spanky and twangy. <laughs> just like this one. It's a Rickenbacker. And uh, let's see, back in the 60s, just about every band had at least one of these guitars in the band, of course, because all the guys had seen the Beatles on Ed Sullivan, and it seemed like everybody in the Beatles was playing Rickenbacker. Anyway, I uh, took an old James Burton really great lick that he wrote when he was about 14 years old and uh, made a record out of it. Yeah. So that's a Rickenbacker. Okay, that's Susie. Well, now we're getting to the good stuff. Um, believe it or not, this is a brand new guitar. Most of my guitars are kind of old. Anyway, uh, my wife presented me with this beautiful guitar right at the beginning of this Canadian tour. And so I will always, I will always remember this tour every time I pick up this beautiful guitar. Now I am prone to say, do you think the plaid clashes with my plaid? <laughs> But it was a wonderful gesture. My wife worked on this thing for years, really, finally uh, bringing it to fruition, I guess you say. Um, I, played, I picked out a guitar just like this one back in 1969. My, uh, the guitar I had played, Proud Mary and all the songs on that album, the, the, uh, the guitar got stolen out of my car, believe it or not, right in front of the record company. I should have known. You know. Anyway, uh, go ahead, Kenny. Um, so I had to get a new guitar. I went into a music store right near my home. I walked in. I'd heard about these guys in England that were playing Les Pauls. You know, uh, Eric, Jimmy, Jeff. And so it seemed like the thing to do was to get one of these Les Pauls. I walked in the door. I said, do you have a Les Paul in here? He pointed up on the wall to a beautiful black one, even though that, that kind of wasn't what I had in mind. I said, uh, okay. 
Let's get that down. Is it all right if I tune the thing down? I want to tune it up like uh, Lead Belly and a lot of those guys did back in the Delta. They gave it a certain sound. You never know. I said, I wonder what this thing's going to sound like when I plug it in. Come on,